Station. 713, turning to our forecast now, meteorologist Matt Peterson is delivering another round of good news for us. And you know what? It just keeps on going. I love it. Yeah, hey, you know, this is your kind of fall forecast, yeah, it is. Jan. It is. The, the sunshine, it's dry. We got 70s out there. I'm sure that you're not the only one that uh, is enjoying this kind of late season push of some nice warm air. If you're someone like me that likes some cooler temperatures, I'll show you the seven day. You could get some of that more fall like uh, cool down as we get towards the end of the seven day. But a really good morning for us. This is from our roof camera on top of the studios here at CBS 3 from our neighborhood network. Nice bright sunshine, really not even a cloud in the sky here in the city itself. We did have the chance for a little bit of light patchy fog to develop. I think most of that chances anyway have really kind of diminished now that the sun has come up. These were our high temperatures yesterday across the region. It was a really warm day for us yesterday. 75 degrees are high in the city. One degree just shy of tying our record high yesterday. Allentown came in at 72. We tied a record high yesterday afternoon in Redding. The same goes for Mount Pocono. Wilmington, it was warm 75 yesterday afternoon. Dover, 74 degrees. So again, a really warm day yesterday and we're going to pick up right where Saturday left off on our Sunday. So these are some records we're keeping an eye on here today. Atlantic City, the record high for today, 72 degrees, set in 2011. And then look at this, November 8th of 1975. How warm was this day? Wilmington's record high for today, 77. Reading, 75. Trenton, 79. I don't know if we'll get quite that warm, but it's going to be close. And the same for Philly, our record high today, 78 degrees. And again, we're going to get real close to that. I don't know if we'll quite get there in the city, but again, we're going to be very, very close. High temperatures across the board, mid to upper 70s for us. Trenton, 76 degrees. Allentown, 76. 76 677 for the city itself. If you're going to be down towards the shore points from AC to Wildwood, there looking absolutely fantastic if you want to soak up a late season shore day. Then overnight tonight, a lot like the last couple of nights for us, our temperatures stay kind of mild. And that will allow that light kind of patchy fog to maybe develop once again. But you see 40s and 50s for the most part across the board. So AC, we dropped down to only 51 tonight. Millville, 49. Lancaster down to four, uh, 51. Wilmington, 50 tonight. 47 up there in the Lehigh Valley near Allentown, too. So just mild and much like the last couple of days. Again, that light patchy fog could be something we keep an eye out on. High pressure for the most part is in control, but we zoom out to give you an idea of what's going on down here. This is some moisture with now Tropical Storm Ada as it works its way towards Florida. And then our next frontal system out in the uh, Colorado Rockies is going to slide to the east. It's actually going to draw in some of that moisture from Ada as we head through the middle of the week, and that will bring us our next best chance for some rain showers. So we take it a Wednesday on future weather here. And this is about 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Rain starting to come in from the west. Again, it's drawing in that moisture from the south as well. And then on Wednesday night into Thursday morning, we're going to get some pockets here of probably some heavier rainfall. Thursday during the day, it's more of just some shower activity. And then on Friday, those showers become even more scattered in nature. So overall, 76 today, 71 tomorrow, 70. One on Tuesday, 73 by Wednesday, even as the rain comes in. And then, Jan, we do cool it down into the 60s and maybe even some 50s by the weekend. All right, Matt, thank you.